children, we're looking forward to seeing you at school soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to read you a story for World Read Aloud Day, which is on Wednesday, the 3rd of February. Today we're going to read Handsome Hog. Most of you know these are my favorite stories all about animals. On the great grassy African plain where the candlestick cactus grew lived Handsome Hog. He had a beautiful smooth coat of the finest brown hair and his extremely elegant tail swished to and fro when he ran. One day, Prickly Porcupine, who was very prickly and not pretty at all, was digging a large hole to sleep in. She was thirsty after her hard work, so she went to the river for a drink. It just so happened that Handsome Hog was also looking for a large hole to live in. He didn't want to dig one himself because his beautiful tusks would get muddy. Handsome Hog found the empty hole dug by Porcupine and Hog. And Hog and Mrs. Hog and all the little baby hogs moved in just like that. When Porcupine returned to her hole, it was full of big hogs and little hogs. But I'm the only one who dug this splendid hole, complained Porcupine. Well, it's mine now, you ugly creature, said Hog rudely. Go away. That evening, Handsome Hog and his family trotted off to the river. They greeted Colobus Monkey and Leopard and all the other beautiful animals as they gathered for a drink. But they didn't talk to the funny-looking animals and they especially didn't talk to the porcupine. Porcupine was tired. She had spent all afternoon in the hot sun trying to find another hole. When she saw the hogs at the river, she waddled down the tunnel into their hole, curled up in the dark, and went to sleep. Handsome Hog trotted back and forth by the water's edge, imagining what the other animals were saying. There goes Handsome Hog. What fine-looking fur. What an elegant tail. Lions arrived to take a drink. His huge mane was all fluffed up by the wind. Such untidy hair, murmured Hog, admiring his own smooth head. Lion growled and walked off. After Lion came Wild Dog, his coat all sludgy and muddy. Such ugly clothes, murmured Hog, admiring his own fine coat. Wild Dog snarled and left. And even when beautiful Cheetah came down to drink, Hog stared at the dark black marks under her eyes and murmured, Miserable faced people should stay at home. Cheetah hissed and quickly walked away. Handsome Hog was smiling happily at his reflection when, when he noticed that the other animals were looking at him. Lion was looking cross, Wild Dog was even more cross, and Cheetah was crosser still. They were all coming straight at him. Oh, oh, said Handsome Hog. He turned and ran, and Lion and Cheetah and Wild Dog began to chase him. They chased him past the tall twisted thorn trees. They chased him through the dark and prickly burr bushes. They chased him under the wait a bit thorns, and they even chased him through the sticky swamp. But Hog ran and ran, and finally, when he saw his new home, he rushed down the hole. Smack! Into Prickly Porcupine, asleep on the floor. Ouch! Hog yelled as hundreds of prickles punctured him. He turned and ran out again. When Lion and Cheetah and Wild Dog saw Handsome Hog run out the hole, they laughed so much they forgot to chase him anymore. His tail was sticking straight up in the air, stiff as a stick, 
and his face was all swollen and full of prickles. Hog went to the river to gaze at his reflection, but his tail was still sticking straight up in the air and his face had large, warty, bumpy lumps. Warty hog, warty hog, the animals began to chant, and warthog, he has been called ever since. And nowadays, warthog is careful to choose an empty hole to live in. And once he's made a fine, wide tunnel, he always goes into it slowly and carefully. And backwards. 